my name is Laura Sand, and um, Cassie Moody is with me. She's an intern with the Owyhee County Extension, and she's going to be my helper today. So University of Idaho Extension um, brings knowledge and research to the of the university to you, where you live, where it's convenient for you. We are leaders in building a thriving and prosperous, healthy Idaho. University of Idaho Extension provides reliable research-based education and information to help people, businesses, and communities solve problems, develop skills, and build a better future. Through our statewide network of faculty and staff in 42 counties, three federally recognized tribes and nine research and extension centers. We work to transform knowledge into solutions that work. To find a location near you, check out the link that Cassie's gonna place in the chat. We focus on contemporary topics that matter to you most, including small and large scale sustainable agriculture, home horticulture, natural resources, health and nutrition, food safety, personal financial management, youth development, and community development. Today, we're going to highlight forestry and natural resources with a quick video. University of Idaho Extension is helping Idahoans care for private and public lands through education to landowners, natural resource managers, and forest industries. From forest insects and diseases to wildland fire, stream protection, rangeland conservation, and logger education, UI Extension is guaranteeing the sustainability of our land for the future. Awesome. So now just a little bit about me. Um, I am an Extension educator down in Franklin County. That's in southeastern Idaho. And um, I focus on health, wellness, nutrition, food safety, food preservation, and youth development. Okay, so today I'm gonna to talk to you about progressive muscle relaxation. Um, it's a technique for reducing anxiety and stress by alternatively tensing and then relaxing your muscles. Um, it was created by an American physician, Edmund Jacobson, in the 1920s. He found that you can relax a muscle by tensing and then releasing or relaxing it. He also discovered that by doing so, you can relax your mind as well. Progressive muscle relaxation provides a framework for achieving the state of relaxation. It requires you to work on one muscle group at a time. Usually that's what they recommend, starting with one muscle group at a time. And then as you get better at it, you can kind of combine a few muscle groups at a time. This allows you to notice the tension in that specific area, what it feels like. Um, it's very important to tense it before you relax it because it emphasizes the difference between when it's tense and when it's relaxed. So now we're gonna talk about some of the benefits. There's plenty of evidence behind the health benefits of it. Let's take a closer look at what research has discovered about the benefits of this. So the first one is that it reduces anxiety and tension. So anxiety relief is like the major benefit of progressive muscle relaxation. This includes generalized anxiety disorder and anxiety due to stressful situations. In 2018, um, 50 unemployed individuals found that progressive muscle relaxation or PMR reduced symptoms of depression, anxiety, and stress. And at the same time, it improved feelings of well-being and quality of life. In another study, it was determined that progressive muscle relaxation had the ability to relieve tension and anxiety in dental patients. Some people get really upset when they're at the dentist, so I guess this helps. Um, it also reduced the depressive symptoms in these patients. A larger study done in 2016 determined that progressive muscle relaxation was as effective as acupuncture in helping to decrease feelings of tension, anxiety, and anger. Also in a 2020 study, progressive muscle relaxation helped reduce anxiety in people who had COVID-19. Suggesting benefits for coping with difficult situations. 
Aggressive muscle relaxation induces relaxation, and because of this, it can help you get better sleep. In a 2020 study, researchers tested PMR on 80 burn patients. These patients often experience high anxiety and poor sleep quality due to their physical and psychological condition. Patients were divided into two groups. One group did progressive muscle relaxation for 20 to 30 minutes a day, three days in a row. The other group just received routine care and treatment. After three days, the researchers determined that the patients who did progressive muscle relaxation showed a significant decrease in anxiety and improvement in sleep quality compared to the group who only received routine care. Additionally, in a 2015 study, progressive muscle relaxation helped mothers with premature babies sleep better during the postpartum period. Progressive muscle relaxation can also ease neck pain. If you tend to carry tension in your neck and shoulders, which I do, um, you might experience neck pain. It's a common condition often associated with mental and emotional stress. According to a 2013 study, progressive muscle relaxation may help reduce symptoms of chronic nonspecific neck pain. In doing so, it may also improve quality of life and physical function. It may also um, help with low back pain. Um, low back pain has many potential causes, but stress can make it worse, like most things. In 2018, a study found that doing eight weeks of progressive muscle relaxation helped to decrease that chronic low back pain. Another study in 2014 discovered that progressive muscle relaxation accompanied with music could decrease low back pain in pregnant women. It also can improve systolic blood pressure. So hypertension or high blood pressure increases your risk of heart disease and stroke. And we all know that stress can worsen the condition, but progressive muscle relaxation can help. Um, blood pressure comes with two numbers, a top number and a bottom number. The top number is the systolic one. This is the pressure that is asserted on the heart as it beats. The diastolic is the pressure in the arteries as there is no heartbeat as it relaxes. Just to give you a little bit of background. In 2018, progressive muscle relaxation with music therapy improved the systolic blood pressure in older adults. And another 2018 study um, showed that just using progressive muscle relaxation by itself also found the ability to significantly improve the systolic pressure in adults with high blood pressure. In both studies, however, it didn't seem to affect the diastolic pressure at all. So migraines are a neurological condition that can cause intense pain in your face and head. Migraine attacks can be triggered by stress, including just everyday stressors. According to a 2016 study, progressive muscle relaxation can decrease the frequency of migraine episodes. The researchers believed it helps by balancing levels of serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter that is often low in people with migraines. Temporal mandibular joint disorder, or TMJ. Um, emotional stress can cause this disorder. Um, which can lead to stiffness and locking in the jaw. 2019 study showed that aggressive muscle relaxation had a calming effect that may help reduce those TMJ symptoms. Study participants experienced less intense pain and tension after practicing the technique. So now we're going to learn how to do it. So it's an easy technique that you can do at home. You don't need any special equipment or gear. All you need is to focus and attention in a quiet spot where you're not going to be distracted. Um, it's recommended that you avoid holding your breath, which can cause more, more tension. Inhale deeply when you tense your muscles and then exhale fully when you relax. Wear loose, lightweight clothing. Um, they recommend that when you initially start practicing it, that you wear 
do it when you're calm, and then it becomes easier to learn the method and then you can use it as you need it. The key with the technique is to tense each muscle group, hold it for five to 10 seconds. Then as you exhale, you let your muscle fully relax for 10 to 20 seconds before you move on to the next muscle group. Mentally, you wanna focus on the differences that you notice between when it's, your muscles are tense and when they're relaxed. Um, closed eyes can help concentrate on the sensation. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you how to tense it, and then I'm gonna give you a chance to practice, and then we'll actually do it for five seconds, and then we'll relax for five seconds, and we'll move on to the next muscle. So for your right hand and forearm, or whatever hand and forearm to tense it, you want to just make a fist, a tight fist, and that you should notice tension in your forearm and in your hand. So try it out. So we're gonna tense and I'm gonna count to five. Okay, now I'm gonna show you relax. Completely do the opposite to relax. So I just count. Um, so, but you can do it however you want if you want to get more exact. Now we're gonna move up our arm to our right bicep. So if you have an office chair with arms, the easiest way is to push your elbow down against the arm of the chair to get tension in the right bicep. So try it, everybody, were you able to do it? Okay. You can also just do, you know, flex it like, you know, showing off your muscles. All right, let's do it. Ready and tense. Two, three, four, five, relax. Okay. Now we're gonna switch over to our left hand and forearm. Again, make that fist. Tense it and relax. Awesome. We're going to switch back to our left bicep. So, just a reminder push your elbow against the arm of your chair or flex the leg, you're showing off your muscles, or you can push it back against the back of your chair to get that tension. Ready, tense. And relax. Don't forget to breathe. We're gonna move to our face. You're gonna write our face in three groups, the upper, which is your forehead, um, the central, which will be your eyes and nose and your upper cheeks, and then the lower, which will be your mouth and your lower cheeks and chin. So to your forehead, you're gonna just lift your eyebrows and you're gonna look upwards without moving your head up, just with your eyes look up. So try it out, see if you can tense your forehead. Any questions? All right, we're gonna go for it, ready? Tense and relax. Relax. Okay, let's go to the central part of your face. So you're going to squint your eyes and you're going to wrinkle your nose at the same time. So try it out, see if you can do it. You kind of are making a funny, at least I assume it's a funny face. I never can see myself when I do it. Yeah. All right. So let's try it. Tense it. Okay. Relax. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe in when you're tensing, breathe out when you're relaxing. We're gonna to move to the lower face. Um, I have a problem with clenching my teeth when I get stressed. 
Um, so I don't like the biting your teeth together because I feel like I do that already. Um, so, but that's how I know I'm tense, I guess. So you bite your teeth together and you pull the corners of your mouth back. Yeah, it's kind of a funny thing. Let's try it. Ready? Tense. And relax. Awesome. Neck. There's multiple neck ones, but this is the one I'll share with you. So you're going to pull your chin down towards your chest. At the same time, you're like also going to try and pull it back. So you're kind of working both muscles, the front of your neck and the back of your neck against each other. Which is kind of weird. So try it out. See what you think. Okay. Let's go ahead and do it. Tense. Two. And relax. Okay. Chest and shoulders. You're going to take a deep breath. Hold it in, and then you pull your shoulders back. When you're sticking up your sticking out your chest, you should feel the shoulder blades go together. Ready, tense, and relax. I couldn't find perfect pictures. You don't have to lean back like the picture is, but you do want to bring your shoulders back. Now we'll get to our stomach. So you're gonna wanna, you can either like pull it in and tense your stomach, or you can just like, if someone's gonna punch you in the stomach and you're like bracing for it, you can also do tense your stomach that way. So try it. Anybody have any questions? All right, let's tense it. And relax. Okay, we're gonna move to the upper legs. I have a hard time isolating the upper leg. Um, so I'm gonna teach you a trick to do both of them if you're not able to do um, the way it says. Um, so tense the muscles of your right upper leg by counterposing the large muscle group on the top of the leg by the two smaller ones underneath. I guess I finally figured out how to do it. If you are not able to get it tensed that way, you can push your legs together so that they're like pushing against each other like that. That can also tense it. Let's go ahead and do it. Ready, tense the upper leg. And relax. And we're going to try lower leg. So with the lower leg, you're going to tense your calf. Or, so you're just going to pull your toes up towards your head. Try it. Let me know what's counterposing. Someone asked. I'll get to that in a second. Go ahead and tense your lower leg. And relax. Counterposing is when you have two opposite um, muscles working against each other. So it provides that tension in, in it. So the, the easiest one for me is the neck. Because I can definitely like curl my neck down and then try and pull it back up. So you're just kind of working opposite muscles against each other, which is not always the easiest thing to do. 
for your foot. You're going to tense it by pointing your toes. Then you're going to turn your foot inwards and curl your toes. Three things. Point, turn inward, curl at the same time. Try it out. And let's go ahead and tense it for good. And relax. Let's go ahead and switch to the other leg. We're going to tense the muscle on the top. Remember, you're going to try and counter pose, meaning work two muscle groups against each other, the top ones with the bottom ones. And tense. Relax. Now we'll move on to the muscles on the lower leg, the calf, remember pull the toes toward the toward your head. Tense it. And relax. And then let's go ahead and move on to the foot. Remember, you're going to point your foot, turn it inwards, and curl those toes. Ready, tent, and relax. Okay, how do you feel? I really feel relaxed. Good. If you notice any more tension, you can go back to where you feel the tension and do the tensing and releasing again until you feel better. Um, um, so if you don't want to do it on your own, there's obviously guided ones available, free ones, and also probably subscriptions um, with videos, podcasts, mobile apps, any recordings. So just the bottom line, practice regularly for your best results. And over time, you may feel more relaxed and mentally calm. Um, are there any questions? Is it best to go through all of the muscle groups or can you just focus? Um, I think you can just focus if you want to. Um, but it's not going to hurt you to go through all the muscle groups. It might actually help you realize your tense in other places than the one you initially notice. Um, like you, I've also seen where they combine muscle groups, so you can do it like faster if you want. But initially, they want you to be able to isolate the muscles so you can notice the tension and relaxation better. Ah, uh, so Serene asked um, recommendations if someone has an injury. Laura, we had another question that said, what are your recommendations if someone has an injury or perhaps a weaker side than the other? Yeah, thank you. I just saw that. <laughs> so um, obviously, if the injury affects the muscle, you might want to ask a healthcare provider about doing it before you get into it just to in indicate to help you know if that is right for you. Um, as far as a weaker side, I'm not sure it matters as long as you're able to tense and relax. I think we all have weaker sides. So just as long as you're able to tense that muscle and relax and it doesn't cause you any additional pain um, or injury. Any other questions? I have a question. Is there a, a guide or anything on counter posing? Um, I am sure there probably is, but I don't know. Okay. Um, if you, uh, I think that we have your email. If I find yes. it, I'll send that to you, Diane. Okay, thank you.
Okay, what else? Anything else before we go? So in the handout, it does show the references. And thanks for coming. Thank you, Laura. And don't forget that we have, we have classes every week. So the next one's Flower Fun. I believe it's Cassie who's doing that. Is that right? Awesome. It should be lots of fun. So sign up for it if that's interesting to you. Thank you.